Hello YouTubers and welcome to vlog number 128 Similar day to the other day where the sun isn't quite out this morning But it probably will be at some point and then it's going to get really hot again It's a cooler session this morning And we have another weight session, we're an expression session To see how I've come along in my upper body this time rather than lower like the other day so hopefully i can do over a thousand for bench press but we'll see got my smoothie still on that pineapple mango grind and we're going to get fraser for a lift let's get going and we've made it to the water lovely drive and now it's time to get on the water for some yamming on it let's get to it and welcome to Eric Thoughts with Cam Buck and just me this morning as we get on the water for a lovely day. And as you can tell from the title, we're going to be discussing how to deal with your darkest days, if it, if it will. If, if, it, if, it, if it will. And this is talking about, this is actually one from my mother. It's talking about putting sunshine in a box. So using your experiences, like days like in my vlog today where it is sunny or it's a good day where you're, you're out. I'm only wearing a short sleeve and an all-in-one and uh, I'm not freezing cold and I'm not trying to survive through this session. I'm trying to thrive through this session and it's sessions like these where you want to really think or really be able to sort of store for those times when... You're looking at, say, you do one session, you've got a couple of sessions in one day, you do the first one, and then you come to the second one, and you're thinking, either, oh my goodness, this isn't going to be the best uh, session the next one, but I'm going to have to do it, or you're looking at it like you've woke up, it's dark December morning, and you're thinking, oh no, I need to get up, the sun's not going to come up until... 8.30 and I'm going to be on the water at 7. I'm going to have to put the lights on my boat and I'm going to have to just paddle in the dark and hope that I don't crash and it's going to be freezing cold and it's raining and oh my goodness, how am I going to get through it? Well, one strategy to get through it is to remember days like today or days in the summer or other any, it could be any other time where you've either had sort of a positive experience like today for me, it was just a good time with the lads it was a sunny day, just exciting, good day, or use other experiences that are just, it doesn't have to do with necessarily the weather, but there were days in which you were having fun, you were having a good time, and it just sort of motivated you a little bit to just keep going. So it's get, having the foresight kind of thing to be able to store those memories, if you will, to remind yourself of those memories, having the 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 ability to remember these maybe it's you use a diary for example or some sort of or even it can just be as simple as okay yeah this is a this is a good day i'm gonna remember this day and then it comes to the winter and you're thinking oh remember that day in the summer it doesn't have to be oh remember june 28th at approximately 7 a.m and we're going down the water not like that specifically but it could just be a case of oh remember that time in the summer there was with the lads going really fast and I was having a good time and getting a tan and all that stuff just hanging out and it could just be as simple as that it doesn't have to be as complex if you will of a deal where you write down every day and then you have to flick through your daily diary and look at say okay that was a bad day this was a good day that was a bad day okay there's a good day I'm gonna remember that specific day what did I say in that day no I'm, I'm saying just make it kind of simple. If you need to write it down, you can write it down, but it's having the sort of mindfulness to realize when a good day is good and when a good day or a bad day is a bad day. And I'm talking about kind of training days here. It's just a kind of making sure, so another way to get through the sort of struggles that people face, especially when training pretty hard. And it's something I definitely use when I go into sort of the winter time when you do kind of look at things differently when you're it's like a, it's almost for rowing anyway it's a completely different sport 
when you have to deal with the cold and the dark versus in the winter versus the summertime when that, all that kind of stuff just disappears. So, little, like, for example, just a small thing, it's I have, like today I mentioned, I'm wearing an all-in-one and a short sleeve. So, that is really easy to wash. But then in the winter, I've got two pairs of socks on. I've got sometimes two pairs of leggings on. Sometimes I've got three layers on the top, maybe even four layers on the top on. I've got a hat on. And then you have to wash that, and then you're doing two or three sessions of water a day, and then you have to wash three different, three times that amount. Even that can be a struggle sometimes. It's just add like rowing in the winter and the the darker times of the year. It's just a completely different story versus that of the days in the summer. And it is trying to think of days like today, like. Um, it could ju- it could just be those days where you have a lot of fun in a regatta, like if we're, if you're going to Henley Royal Regatta, if you had a regatta this year, it's having days like that that it was okay. That was a great time for me, and I really enjoyed it. I'm going to put that in my sunshine box, if you will, and just say, okay, I'm going to try and remember that day, and I'm going to use that as fuel to motivate myself in the winter when things are getting a bit more difficult and it doesn't necessarily have to be in the winter either it could be maybe you're having a really good day in the summer and the training is going really well and then maybe a couple of weeks later you're thinking oh man that's just just not feeling the same and you try and remember what you were doing a few weeks back and you think okay I did this and did that and it was a great day and it could be something that you did differently then versus something you aren't doing anymore so say during the summer you've decided oh nap napping is a great thing to do because racing is coming up and then in the winter you think oh no i don't need to have need to nap and then maybe you realize that oh maybe that's that napping that i was doing that napping that i was doing was actually really beneficial and then you bring that back into your routine and then you think oh yeah that was uh that really makes a difference and it could just be simple things like that that you could run into or it could literally just be that those times where you think of good memories and it just gives you that boost that you might that just a small boost that you might need for the rest of the day just to turn up a little gear to yam on it just that little bit more and it could and it literally sometimes is that little bit of juice that you need sometimes it can be something bigger that you might need sort of to get through a tough 16k or a tough 20k, a tough 30k, whatever you're up to. But other times it can just be as simple as, oh, remember that time? Remember that good time I had in the summer? Oh yeah, let's. I'm looking forward to getting back to that. And then you sort of, okay, I'm gonna smash this, whatever workout it is, base. And I think that is it for Eric Thoughts for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different. And I think hopefully you could sort of take the advice of just putting the sunshine in the box that you may experience at any time of the year and using it when the sunshine isn't out anymore or on that specific day. Okay, I'll see you after I'm finished this workout. And that is us finished at the light for today. Now we're going to head to the Leander Club. Got the rig, boats deraged, got to re rig, got to wash them, got to get a name ceremony for the boat, get the boats set up, uh, painted and whatnot, sanded and whatnot for Henley. Lots of stuff to do today. And then expression session for the bench press because we're on that game train. Let's get to Leander. And that's us made it back to the club. How was the journey, Jacob? It's pretty good. Uh, nice and relaxing. Good radio shows on, you know. Had a good day. Fun pieces. And I'm pretty wrecked. Oh, yeah. Now to get some food because remember, FIF. Food is fuel. And recovery is key. Let's get to some breakfast. And we've made it to breakfast time. What are you getting for breakfast, Jacob? Two sausage, bacon, bread, scrambled eggs, beans, FIF baby. Yeah, buddy. Beans, eggs, toast. Not toast, bread, just bread. Fraser's got about, he's got one, two, three, eight sausages, one, four, four bits of beans. 12 eggs. 12 eggs, some scrambled and some poached. Because food is fuel, got to fuel up that big lead. All right, let's eat this food, and then we'll get to the boat cleaning, waxing, all of that stuff. Let's get to it. And it's time to get the eight 
into the boathouse, into Leander Club once more for its final rigging cleaning session before we get racing next week. Oh yeah, let's get to it. And now it's time to rig this bad boy. Rigging and washing and all that jazz. Let's get to it. And that is us all done with the boat. It's looking fresh. How are we doing, Fraser? We're doing good. Look at look at this shiny boat. Shiny, shiny boat. Sydney King. Oh yeah. And here is the boat itself. <laughs> Fraser, how was the cleaning? So good. So two two seconds per one hundred at least of speed from this shiny boat. It's about that's about 3,000 seconds per 2k. All right, finish this, we're gonna put the boat away and then gonna do some weights on the gains train. Let's get to it. Exciting times, didn't even realize what time it was, which means it's lunchtime. That's not how that works, but it is lunchtime anyway, because remember, food is fuel. Let's get to some food. And that is us finished with lunch for today. We got our fuel in. Didn't film it. It was like a pork and couscous type deal or some meat and couscous type deal. It was absolutely delicious. Painted the blades, sanded the blades, some more free speed. And now to do an expression session for the upper body. I won't film it just because we want to be focused and get set for these sets of gains. And I'll see you after weights. Let's get to it. And we're in the gym. We're going to film some, a little bit of the bench press. We'll do some warm-up sets and let's get to it after those. And weights is finished for the day. You saw the first, uh, saw one of the warm-up sets there. Unfortunately, I didn't film the actual sets, partly because I forgot and partly because it didn't go the best. But that is part of learning, part of on the gains train, part of the experience. Hopefully the train keeps on rocking, keeps on going. I think that'll be it for the rest of the vlog. Gonna head home, recover. Probably stay inside, not get too hot in the sun. But remember, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button and have a good one.